of all, I want to say again, I really want to thank uh, Commissioner Foy for bringing this resolution up. He was way ahead of the curve on that, but I think he deserved the credit for having the spine to take that stand. I appreciate that, and I appreciate the other members that are willing to vote for it. It, it, it really is a no-brainer, and we really would do well to remember the lessons of history. Um, this wasn't something I planned to go into, but I guess I go back to, well, Marcus Tilius Cicero, somewhere around 438 AD. To be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to remain always a child. In this state, well, throughout the South, after the Civil War, when governments were elected back into office, laws were put into place that did restrict gun rights. They denied former slaves their gun rights. I think that was despicable. It took members of the NRA, when they started the NRA in the North, to uh, get people's marksmanship in better shape. Two Union generals came down here from the Northeast and fought for former slaves' rights to own guns because they were made defenseless by the party in power, and that party was not the Republican Party. There's a lot of things the Republican Party's done that's been anything from scurrilous to uh, unconstitutional, so they're not perfect. But this is history, and we must learn from it. And having said that, I'll let some far smarter people than me speak to that. To me, on the Second Amendment, there's three levels. One is your basic natural right to self-defense. The third level is to restrain an overreaching, tyrannical government. That's the main purpose the founders intended. The third level is to prevent foreign invasion, which worked real well for us in World War II. There were several countries, including Japan, that did not want to invade the mainland of this country because we were so well armed. So on the first, on crime control, from Thomas Jefferson in 1774, laws that forbid the carrying of arms disarm only those who are neither inclined nor determined to commit crimes. Such laws make things worse for the assaulted and better for the assailants. They serve rather to encourage than to prevent homicides. 